Welcome to Magical Night Dreams Cotton 2. It's been a little while since we've seen a cotton game on this channel. We've done three of them so far. And yet it's taken three of them to get to Cotton 2. Uh, that's right, some of the other games we showed off were various, I guess, offshoots? But Cotton 2, this is the proper sequel to Cotton 1. Magical Dr Night Dreams Cotton. Um, so, Cotton 2... A couple things. Uh, um, interesting thing about it. Mechan Some mechanics have changed, but not a lot. You're, it's a side-scrolling shooter, much like the first Cotton. There is... An additional second character, Apley, which is, uh, again, new character introduced in this game. Uh, you can still level up by clicking experience to improve the power of your shot. You have a health bar. All kinds of fun other things. Um, Plot-wise, it's pretty standard cotton fare. Something about some pumpkins taking some blue, um, willow. All in Japanese, never localized, far as I know. Uh, this here's the plot. I will attempt to put up, a, like, a translation or something of this and the character bios that showed up otherwise. And there's even this little thing. There is also a second version of this game, kind of a remix that was released called Cotton Boomerang. I think it was Cotton Boomerang. Yeah. Um, however, Cotton Boomerang is different enough from this game that it is effectively a different game. Okay, so Apple is looking for something. Don't know what. Cotton's being cotton. You look at the art of this game and you think, oh man, these this is gonna be cute. Look at all these cute characters. But like, they almost try to make it ugly. It's kind of a weird thing, but like that's how cotton works. That's how all the games are. Um, also, there are new cotton games. There's Cotton Remix, which is a remake of the first cotton game. And there is um, a brand new cotton game that came out. Will I be showing them off? Uh, hopefully, I don't actually know. I'd like to catch that. Okay, I'm just not going to, I guess. Yeah, so you have a life bar, so you can actually take a hit. Not that I'm very good at this. Um, I would, when I say I would like to show off those games, I don't know if I can. Because a lot of the reason, despite that I would like to show them off, a lot of the reason I can show these off, because I am bad at these games, is because it's an arcade game and I can spam horrors. So the gem you collect actually determines what magic type you have in the lower left-hand corner. Kind of like what bomb you're going to use. Cool, I got him. Um, it also determines what element your attack is. Like, I grab a green one, so my element is green. Win. And I die. Name of things. Some of them. You can... Uh, there's some kind of weird command you can do to attack in multiple directions. And I have no idea how to do that. Hey, first boss, let's go. Okay, so pointed out his weak point. Of course, you can't get to it because he's got an axe and a club in the way. I'm just going to hang back all the way and he shouldn't hit me much. Okay, got to destroy the axe. Now we can hit him in the chest. 
try to lower myself a little bit whenever he raises his arm, so hopefully I don't get hit. But I think as long as you just hug the left wall, you just don't die. And we did! Tea time! So you can actually shoot the teacups. So like, I kind of hang on the left hand side, grab everything I can, and just shoot off to the right and hopefully I can shoot more of them. We did it! Silk has friggin' legs that could rival Bayonetta, holy heck. And Cotton 2 has these little cutscenes between chapters. I don't know what they're saying. Probably not that important, all things considered. The game is also two-player, where player two plays as Apley. So there you go. Of course, nobody I know likes shmups. All right, stage two, let's go. So I think it's the experience you get, which you get for killing dudes. And I think you lose when you get hit. I made it. Okay, you know what, you can just go away. It's fine. Um, another mechanic that I have not shown off yet... It'd be real nice if I could hold down the attack button. But you can't. I tried real hard to set up, like, Joy to Key to be able to do it, but, um... Prove difficult! I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna mash. Oh boy, a pumpkin! Remember about that pumpkin kingdom? Oh, I don't like that. over here doesn't work. Oh, you can only hit him when it, in his open mouth. Well, he left. There's a mini-boss or so in each stage. Um, you don't actually have to stop and fight them, though. You just kind of have to put up with them. I mean, if you want score, of course. Otherwise, you just kind of have to put up with them until they leave. What are you doing, friend? I'd actually not like to have blue. I'd like green. Green was nice. Had a real big AoE on it. You can shoot the gems, and that will change their color, which is a good way to do the thing that I want to do. Oh, geez. Well, I'm never getting those now. So another mechanic that I've not shown off at all is you can grab things. And you can just run away for a little while, too. Actually, blue's pretty good. If this guy's gonna be chasing me... Oh, I guess I can't grab her. I can't grab these bullets. I've grabbed some bullets, but I guess I can't grab these. I'm not good at shmups, yo. That's just a thing. I ain't good at them. Which is, I like, I enjoy shmups, as everybody on this channel knows. I enjoy shmups, I'm just bad at them. So typically I can only really play them when I can cheat in one form or another. 
be that either with save states or on um, arcade hardware by spamming coins. At least me dying a lot, though, should keep any um, increasing challenge rating down. I don't know if this game has that, actually. Oh, so Cotton 2. Um, Cotton 2 was... It was originally released for the arcade, but it was ported to the Saturn. There is very little difference between the Saturn release and the arcade release. Um, I am playing the arcade release. There we go. I'm playing the arcade release kind of mostly just because I would prefer, given the option, to play something as close to the original as possible. Just in case something changed along the way. Man, why is green so hard to get? Oh no, I got fire. Ow. What do I gotta shoot you in the face? Getting a little close there, friend. Got it. So there are, um, you saw me do like a charge combination car combo move there. I don't know how to do that. I haven't been able to figure it out. There's things that I know you can do, but I cannot figure out how to do them. You can kind of grab him and hold him up as a shield in front of you. Then chuck him at guys. Like, it seems like yellow actually just keeps you on the same one. So using bombs, I believe, um, reduces your magical power, so your like your attack will get weaker. Oh jeez. So your attack will get weaker. So like, it'd be kind of cool to use bombs. I'd think about it. I'd consider it. We're fighting a boss. I'd use a bomb. Look, I'd like to hurry. Oh, jeez. I'd like to hurry up. I really would. But I don't know how to fight that guy faster than I did. So I guess I'm just not going to kill him. Maybe I shouldn't have been using wind. Maybe that's it. I should have been using ice or something. Saturn did all of these, like, distortions on the text boxes and everything. I mean, it's the Saturn. I imagine it did. Let's grab ice again. Actually, probably want to have fire, because I think this is, a um, like an ice cave, kind of. Oh, I grabbed wind. Which is not what I wanted, but okay. I like wind because it's the biggest. 
But maybe it's like not the strongest because of that. Oh boy, what do you do? You just kind of get hit and get out. So I figure out how to do that. Oh, that's what puts him into the uh, the weird orb thing. Hey, what the heck? You're not allowed to do that. Just send your body parts everywhere. There is a lot going on. This is heckin' fat. Okay, we're going down here now, I guess. This is moving fast. You don't even have time to, like... Okay. Like, you gotta process where the enemies are gonna be to time the dudes. So I found if you double tap, that's when you um, shoot out the thing. Hey, now I'm on ice, which I don't want to be on. I'd rather be on fire. Am I not doing something right? How do you kill this guy in any reasonable time frame? when he's got so many friggin' fire orbs on the screen. There's either something I don't understand about the mechanics of this game. Or this game is way harder than I thought it was. I mean, I know I'm not good at these. But, like, I gotta be doing something wrong. Yeah, like, I can't even kill the boss in time. I mean, I'm level one at this point, probably because I died a lot. Oh, well. Level one between dying and, um... Between dying and using that bomb, which I know, I know the bomb, like, really lowered my damage.